Hello friends, and welcome to a very long-awaited, at least for me, uh, photo card sorting video. I have quite a lot of photo cards to put away, nearly a hundred in here, um, and from a variety of groups I collect, and yeah, I'm excited. I've been accumulating these cards for a while now, and I just want to put them in their homes. So let's get into it. I have some key album cards because I just fucking love Key and I love his album design, so I often like buying his albums. So I am going into my miscellaneous album binder. Where are they? they are. I'm not quite sure how I want to set them up. Maybe I'll just put them on the back of here. Because I have like two regular of his regular album cards and then his like collector edition cards so i don't know if i want to move this up and put the two regular album cards here and then put the collector edition cards on the back of the bad love collector cards so this was the i bought two of his versions i bought the vhs version and the floppy disk version so i think it was Oh, but there were, oh, cause yeah, this one, I'm gonna need another sleeve, probably. Maybe I'll just get another sleeve. Okay, pause. Okay, so, got another sleeve. I think it's probably just easier for me to put them all on their own sleeve. I, want, I mean, I guess I could put the collector cards on the backs of this still. I put the album cards here. Maybe I'll just do that. Okay, so let me organize this again. So, this must have been the floppy disk, I think. And then this was from the VHS. And then this is the collector card in that came with the pack in the VHS. But I'm gonna put it here because it's like a selfie. And then these are the concept collector cards. So, do I want to cover up the backs though? Because I really do love the design of the backs. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna cover it up. <laughs> How do I want to do this? Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So that is it for my miscellaneous binder. I love these cards so much. They're so good. I mean, this album was so good. I do love the backs too. Okay, well, let's move on to my next binder. Next up is Purple Kiss. So I don't know if you've seen this yet, but if you've watched my collection diaries video, you know that I was creating new covers for my binder. So this is my Purple Kiss cover. So let's go to the empty sleeves I have because I have my Geeky Land cards. So I believe I have all, no. I'm waiting on one Yuki card, which is, was mailed, but has not arrived to me yet. So let's just put all my other ones away. So I really loved this album. I liked it a lot better than um, Mima. And yeah, I don't know. I just like, after Mima, I was like, why? Well, okay. 
I shouldn't say I, I disliked the album. I just liked the title track. <laughs> I disliked Mem Mem as a title track. Um, but the like B sides on it, I mean, Pretty Cycle is one of my favorite. Oh, that's on her. I thought <laughs> that was a spec. Um, Pretty Cycle is one of my favorite Purple Kiss songs. Um, but yeah, I don't nerdy. I just think it is, they're just like quirky, fun Purple Kiss. I don't know. I just, when they do weird, like horror type concepts, I don't know. Nerdy is kind of, there's like slight horror elements in it. But yeah, I don't know. When they do like quirky concepts like that, I just think they thrive. So I really liked, and the B-sides on Geeky Line too. I think there's only one song that I'm just like meh about. Um, but yeah, I feel like for the most part, Purple Kiss continue to just put out songs that I really love. And yeah, I just really like them as a group. Okay, wait, so I'm missing this card, I believe, right here. Let me check the backs. Yes, I am. Okay, when I was first getting these cards, it threw me off so much that Doshi's uh, Geeky Land is a black and Yuki's is this like purpley brown color. It threw me off. I thought, I was like, are these people trading fakes to me? But like it kept happening. So I was like, okay, this is just how they print it, I guess. It's kind of weird, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so now these are the Digipack cards. At first I wasn't going to collect the Digipack cards, but I actually really liked them. So I was like, Ugh, okay, I guess I will collect the Digipack cards. I was kind of annoyed. I mean, I shouldn't have been surprised, but I was annoyed that they released Digipacks. But one us did, so I was like, well, I guess it's just about time that uh, Purple Kiss did as well. So yeah, these are my Geeky Land cards. The photo book cards though, oh, these are so good, so good. I mean, look at them. This one, so good. I love Yuki's short little pink bob. So cute, so cute. All right, and next, which might come as a surprise for some people, but I am starting a new collection. However, this new collection is going to be a very slow collection and I'm kind of just going to do whatever I want with this collection. So it is Jay and Stacy. Um, I have really fallen in love with Stacy this year. And I had been thinking about collecting Stacy for several months. And my friend Ashley had started collecting Jay. We both buy it's Jay. Love when that happens. She had started collecting Jay and then she decided to sell her Jay collection and she offered it to me. And I was like, I guess this is my sign. <laughs> so I do not have all of her cards, um, but I'm... I think I'm just going to collect what I want because I have been feeling a little overwhelmed with the amount of stuff the groups I collect have been coming out with this year. So to avoid me becoming overwhelmed, especially because I just decided to pick up a new collection, I am just going to collect the cards I want for Jay and not focus so heavily on getting like every single album card, which is how I often feel with my collections. I'm often like that completionist where I'm like, I need every single album card. Um, I don't, I don't need that. So anyway, Jay will live in my Purple Kiss album. And yeah, I'm just, I'm excited because I love Jay. I just really have been loving Stacey this year. Um, yeah. So these are from their first two album. Um, I, it's, uh, what's the album name? Something weird. <laughs> I just call it so bad. I really just call them like <laughs> the title track names. 
because uh, I can never forget. It's always like something with Stata, uh, Start a Youth, Start a Youth, something like that. I don't know. I think that's her first album. This one might might have been Statum. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. I think this one's just called Stereotype, right? The naming conventions for them, I don't really get. I do really want though the cheerleader card from Stereotype, but I know the cheerleader cards for the entire group were like a really hot commodity. And I have looked and it's been a little ridiculous. It's been priced a little ridiculous. Um, so, oh, hello, Tuna. <laughs> She's moving my tripod. Um, so yeah, I right now um, just have a pub and I think I'm just going to leave my stereotype page as is because it fills up the four pockets. And like, if I happen to come across the cheerleader card for a good price, I'll buy it. But I'm not going to try and force myself to get it. Um, yeah. And I only have two cards from their Young Love album, which I have to say is probably one of my favorite albums from the year. And um, Young Love, the song, oh my god, it's perfection. <laughs> um, so I think what I'm going to do, because I only have two cards from Young Love, I think I want to get just two cards from their um, Beautiful Monster era. Power of Love? Is that what the album's called? I don't remember. But yeah, so I think I just want to get two cards from that era and then kind of just call it a day. Um, so yes, this is my... This is my... Stacy J collection. <laughs> I love her so much though, and I love her short hair too. So good. All right, moving on. Next up is my Evo cards from Malice. Excited to finally put these away as well. Here we go. I really did love this comeback from them. It's just everything that happened afterwards with Raven. Oh, I really, I really don't know how to feel about it, to be honest. Um, okay, so I kind of have to figure out what I, how I want to lay these out. I think my first page, I'm just going to do this. It's the other pages that I need to figure out what I want to do. Um, so these were from the um, photo book version, which, what was it called? They all had names. I don't remember all the names. I know there was uh, the Eden version, which was the platform version, which was like limited. Get, get in. <laughs> um, this was from the polka version, which was also kind of like a platform version. Um, they kind of came out with a lot of versions this time around. Was this also from the, um, I don't remember which version. <laughs> I don't remember. I got these like so long ago. These have actually been sitting in my bin for a while, waiting to be put away. Yay. Okay, yeah, so this is where I, in my head, I had a specific way I was going to lay them out because these are the, um, like, digipack, for, I don't know what to call it. It's not really a digipack, it's, but it's like a member-specific version. Um, these, oh, hell if I know, I don't remember now. But, like, he's in the same outfit as these ones, so I think I want to put this here. And this was the card with a QR code. So, like, even though he's in like the same outfit as the the other cards i want to put it here because it's the qr code card does that make sense and then this is a pob and so then i think i want to put, get another pob either in the black outfit or like this outfit maybe because then i could put this here so these match and then i have yeah, maybe get a pob in this outfit and put that here. So then like these all match, these all match, these match. 
You feel me? That's what I'm thinking. So let's put these away. I originally wasn't going to collect this, but then I realized it helped like fill out these four pockets. So I was like, fine. Cause then it's like less pobs I need to worry about getting. Cause then I traded for this pob and then I have a couple other pobs up for trade on my IG. So if you're interested, I have a um, Konhi and a Xi'an, I think. No, Huanung? Who do I have? I don't know. Um, but if you have a Edo Pob in this outfit um, and you're willing to trade, look at my IG, hit me up, you know? So yes. Yeah, I think that's good. Cause yeah, these are also a little bit darker and these are also, uh, this one's kind of dark, but he's like in a lighter outfit and this one is lighter. So I feel like this page looks okay. Even though I guess I could put these two on this page so he's matching. Should I do that? Wait. I wasn't I wasn't planning on doing that. Oh my god, my cat. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's do a little bit of shuffling right now and see how I feel about it. Because normally I also like to keep pobs at the end, but if this looks better, maybe, I mean, I could do this, I guess. Let me see how that looks. Because then, but see, these are kind of still the oddball out. Like I could get, I know his, one of his Apple Music Lucky Draws is in this outfit. So like I could get that outfit and maybe put this here like that. Hmm. Maybe do that. Yeah. Get a red outfit. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, and get a red outfit. Okay, maybe I do that, actually. I kind of like that. I don't know. You guys, tell me what you think. Do you like it this way? Or do you like it the other way? I had it with these two on the other page. Let me know. All right, moving on. Okay, Dreamcatcher album time. So we got some apocalypse... Um, what is it? Follow us? Right. Apocalypse follow us. Actually first, hold on. Let me go to my merch cards because I have merch cards from their Love Stealer photo book. That's the version I got. I did not get both versions. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then I have some pobs, which I'm going to just put on my pob page, <laughs> even though they're not album pobs, but I'm just, I just have one pob section. And I'm just keeping it at that. I don't focus on pobs and I will not start focusing on pobs because I just can't, <laughs> I don't have the mental capacity to focus on pobs for like, Ooh, something just fell over on my shelf for a lot of uh, groups. A2s is really the only group that I go pop crazy. And then all my other ones are just, it's chill. It's chill. I like to keep it chill, you know? Anyway, so yeah, I got the Love Stealer version for the photo book because I, I mean, the concepts are both similar, but I think I liked these like outfits more for them. So... That's why I wanted this version. And I love Dami in this. She's just perfect. I love her. Okay. Let me get my fillers. Uh, 
Ah, come on. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, so now let me go back to my pop page. See, I didn't realize these photo books were coming with pops. But so this is the like single lenticular that came in the album, um, or the album, the photo book, which was like a special card. So this isn't technically a pop, but you only get one of them and I'm not about to try and get all six others. <laughs> so yeah, I pulled Yukon and then my pops, I got a Dami pop and it's so fucking adorable. And I was like, oh my God, I just feel so blessed. That I was given this pub and then I also have a Yuhon pub so yeah I'm gonna put Dami in the middle and Yuhon surrounding her I just I love this so much I think it's so cute get in okay so this is my little pub section Okay, so now we can go back to Apocalypse Follow Us. So I have a few cards. Okay, so this is, these are the red, the selfies in the red outfit. So for those who don't know, I only collect the regular album version cards. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so these are the other selfie sets. And then these were the concept sets. Then I'm also collecting the IDs. And then, oh, these are my two pobs from this era. So I got Sua and Xion. So I put these aside. I think the order I wanted to do them were the two selfies first and the concepts, then the agent cards. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> She needs to go here, and then that one. And then I did join a go for some other cards, and I'm still, I'm missing like Jiu's whole set, Handong's, uh, 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 besides this Handong card, I'm missing her other cards, and then Dami's. So I'm gonna need to have to find those. Um, so then let me get my two fillers for the corners. Perfect, and now I'm gonna put the other selfie set here. I got a lot from this set, thank God. Sua, Shion. I, did I pull this or did I buy this off my friend? I can't remember now, but this one is so freaking cute. And Dami also has a filter one that I really, it's so cute. I wish their concept cards this time around matched more. Like, I feel like I, they have a red concept outfit in the limited version, and I kind of wish they put it in the regular version. So you'd have like the red outfit selfie version and concept version, you know what I mean? Um, that's kind of what I wish. I think I have all of Yuhon's cards and Gahyeon's cards, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and then this concept version is Gahyeon and oh, Gahyeon. So I don't, I'm missing you homes of this. And then the IDs or the agent cards, whatever you want to call them. I 
that's to us. Or no, did I join them? Did I get in the go? I don't remember now. I'm missing is hanbangs. I know, I think I claimed these two in the go that I had joined. Yeah, and I have Sua's cards I'm missing claimed. I think Yuhan's cards I'm missing claimed. Maybe some of Xion's too, I can't remember now. But yeah, so these are my Apocalypse Follow Us cards thus far. It's coming along. Oh, this is crooked. All right, all right. Okay, so back to the pop page. So yeah, I don't trade pops. I don't really focus on getting pops, but like, it, what is? Oh, is that? Oh, it's on her. <laughs> I thought it was on the card. Um, but anyway, uh, these are from K Town. These are the K Town pops. So if you have Dami's K Town and you want to trade for one of these, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep them. <laughs> like in the past I've been able to get Donnie's so it'd be nice to continue to have hers um, just because she's not biased but yeah so I'm just going to put these here or if you're selling her pop for a reasonable reasonable price I may buy it I don't really want to buy pops but I may see anyway so yeah that is my dream catcher section all right next all right next up we got my AT's OT8 mini binder and my light tinny my new light tinny did come so I put the group card here very excited about it so I'm just gonna flip right to the back actually no I'm going to where okay here we go so I got Mingi's birthday merch Yay. And I am currently filming this video on a tinny day. So happy a tinny day to everyone. I hope you have a good day. I'm very excited for the content they're putting out. Okay, so then I got two Okay. So that's one OT8 Oh, I need my um, A5 wide binder. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I need to get that one too. Okay, so this is the Apple Music 3, 4? I don't know. I think this was one of the other Apple Music versions, and I just loved these outfits on them, so I wanted it. And then this is like Mixer 3 or 4, I can't remember, and it's just freaking cute, so... Why not? I can't control myself about when it comes to ATs. We all know this already. So, you know, you know, you know. Anyway, how are we all doing? Are we excited about their the tours that, that's going on? They're performing in Dallas tonight. So that's the day I'm filming this. So for us in the United States, it's not quite eight any day yet, but in Korea, it is time. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see more concert videos, even though I've been trying not to get spoiled. So, like, I kind of just scroll by them when they're on the timeline, just to, like, you know, see what it's like. But I don't, I haven't actually, like, watched any <laughs> with sound because I just don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't know. I'm, like, trying not to be spoiled, but I also want to know. It's the catch-22, I think. <laughs> I'm going to the New York shows which are at the end of the tour and yeah this is I think a lot of people are complaining they're like it's it's weird having East Coast at the end of the tour and at the beginning like no one knows how to react no one knows how to behave um so yeah it's a little nerve-wracking because I'm like normally I'm done I'm done by now I've, I've witnessed them <laughs> but 
I'm excited. I'm very excited. I have my outfits all planned out for the concert. If you went to the concert, how was it? If you're going at a later stop, let me know. If you're going to one of the Newark stops, let me know. I'll be there both days. Oh my god. Oh my god. This, these sets are so freaking cute. Okay, I need to get my bias line binder. Ah! Okay, bias line binder. So, I think these are just merch cards, so I'm going back here. So I did end up taking out my Japanese cards and putting them back in my A4 binder because I, I actually really like how this turned out I really like the setup so I want to keep this as long as I can so because the Japanese photo cards are technically album cards I put them back in my A4 binder that had my Korean album cards so we're gonna stick with that and we're gonna stick with this <laughs> and then my OT8 mini binder will probably have to go at some point because it's too full uh, okay yeah so I have the Gyaru Fever Diary photo book and the summer photo book I almost forgot. Okay. These honestly are just the cutest. Oh my god, I forgot about these too. Holy shit. I forgot I had these. Oh my god, okay. Wait. I got some stories to tell you about these. Okay. So, um, I don't even know where to start. Um, <laughs> I can't think. My, my brain just farted out for a second because I forgot I had those cards. Um, well, first, let me just say that these cards are just some of the most top tier cards. This Uyong card, beautiful, beautiful, top tier, one of his best. I can't believe he did this. I can't believe you. <laughs> this one too is so, it's just so good. So good. They, Kiki have been releasing a ton of cards let me tell you uh, cards uh merch photo books the, like clothing collabs the, the a tinny room pop-up is happening like there's just there's a lot happening right now um so i'm a little overwhelmed but i don't know i just i i see cards like that and i'm like just beautiful beautiful i love it so much it calms me down <laughs> oh Look at this. Look at this. Ah, beautiful. All right, I need to get my big ATs binder now because I have something exciting to show you that I don't think I've talked to anyone about yet on the internet. So, yay. Okay, so one of my goals this year was to get some broadcast photo cards for ATs and I got these two from Gorilla Era. I saw these and I was like, I need them. I absolutely need them. Holy crap, I need them. This one, this is S tier. This is, I can't believe Yosung did this. Oh my God. <laughs> so yes, I got broadcast cards, my very first broadcast cards, but these are not my only broadcast cards. I did a thing. I did a thing <laughs> okay so I <laughs> because broadcast cards are more expensive I have almost also just limited myself to getting my ults so I'm just gonna get Hong Joon and Yo Song broadcast cards and I just went back I'm, I'm not gonna go to like from the beginning of you know when they debuted because those broadcast cards are fucking expensive but i went back a couple euros so these are from fever part three these are from fever part two and i just i love them and i'm probably not gonna get any earlier cards i'm probably just going to try and get at least one broadcast card 
her era moving forward for Hong Jun and Yo Song. I'm not quite sure yet because they are more expensive. So I don't know how I'll feel exactly about it because I don't I don't have epilogue here, fever epilogue. Because for some reason, I guess it's because they weren't doing as many shows then. Like they, those have been priced like way more expensive than like Fever Part 2 or Fever Part 3 were. I'm not really sure why. If anyone else knows, let me know. But, oh, so yeah, this is, I'm doing this six pattern layout right in the front of my binder so that I can just, <laughs> the first thing I see when I open it up are the broadcast cards and I'm just, oh my god, I love it, I'm so obsessed. Oh my god. This one, this Yo song, like the two cat ears, oh my god, so good. And I saw this and I was like, oh my god, I fucking need it. I just, these are, oh my god, I'm so, I'm so happy I have these. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I don't, I, moving forward with the broadcast card situation, I'm probably just gonna play it by ear, but yeah, I, I do want to continue to try and, and get them from you know at least a few years here and there moving forward but yeah okay we're gonna end it on that um I feel like I've been holding this in forever because I started this like mon months ago it was it was one of my goals for this year so this endeavor started many many m moons ago um but yeah all right so I hope everyone is having a good day happy 18 -E day once again and I will see you in the next one. Bye.